you may or may not have remembered that about 23 slides ago, I told you that if your mind wanted to think very, very simplistically, which every mind strives to do, uh, you could think of lymphomas as being of two types, Hodgkin's or non-Hodgkin's. Most of the lymphomas are non-Hodgkin's, but there's a lot of Hodgkin's. Maybe it's a three to one ratio, I don't know. But here is a chest x-ray in which you see some tumor replacing on the right here, uh, the mediastinum. It's doubtful or perhaps possible that this could be from the lung, but it looks like it's more in the mediastinal area. CT could very easily help differentiate this. And in the CT slice of this plane, I think I could convince you very easily that we have rather well-defined round nodules, which don't look like they are directly part of the lung, but may compress the lung. These are mediastinal lymph nodes. They're very big. It, it's probably a lymphoma, unless we can find any primary cancer somewhere. Let's take a look at these lymph nodes grossly. We did the surgery, we cut through the lymph node, and look at the two obvious features of this lymph node. It has these nodules, and the nodules are separated from each other by thick bands of fibrous connective tissue. This is nodular, and it's also sclerosing. So, if I told you that this was nodular sclerosing Hodgkin's disease, you'd probably totally believe me even if uh, you didn't see any cells under the microscope yet. And indeed, a young person with mediastinal lymph nodes, in which is nodular and has bands, is nodular sclerosing Hodgkin's disease until proven otherwise. Here's the slide now. We're lucky enough to have taken a nice slide through this area. And we could now once again see microscopically what we already knew grossly. Here are the thick fibrous bands, and here are the lymphoid nodules. Now, I'm gonna make your mind think even much simpler, because when I told you there's only two kinds of lymphomas, and that's either Hodgkin's or non-Hodgkin's, uh, it's a very simple microscopic fact on how to differentiate Hodgkin's from non-Hodgkin's. You find Reed Sternberg cells. Because if a lymphoma has Reed Sternberg cells, it's Hodgkin's disease. If a lymphoma doesn't have Reed Sternberg cells, it's non Hodgkin's lymphoma. That's a little bit oversimplified, and I'm sure people would be angry at me for saying that. But in all practicality, that's the basic algorithms we all use in our everyday practice. Notice that in these bands, of fibrous tissue, dense fibrous tissue between nodules that in some areas you see large cells like here and here and here and maybe a little bit out here, probably here, definitely here. They almost look like they are cells that are within their own little lacunae and they are large cells and they are irregular cells. And these are what they call lacunar cells. And here's one, here's one, here's probably one. These are all variants of Reed Sternberg cells. Some of the pure people don't want to call them Reed Sternberg cells. They'd rather call them lacunar cells, but they are Reed Sternberg cells. And notice, like every other Reed Sternberg cell, they have a very, very large, bright, red nucleolus surrounded by a clear zone, which is the classical diagnostic feature for Reed Sternberg cells. But in this case, because they often have an artifact of a large uh, vacuole surrounding them, this variant of Reed Sternberg cell is called the lacunar cells. So once again, let's take it easy. If malignant lymphomas have, had, have Reed Sternberg cells or lacunar cells, which are variants of Reed Sternberg cells, they're Hodgkin's lymphomas. If you have uh, lymphoid cells facing a lymph node and they don't have Reed Sternberg cells, they're most likely a non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. Thank you very much.